Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie and today I have such an exciting thrift haul to share with y'all. This haul was specifically sourced with fall 2022 fashion trends and styles in mind and I am just so excited. It has taken several trips to regular Goodwill select stores, the Goodwill outlet and the Family Thrift Center outlet to accumulate what I feel like is a good touch on the fall 2022 fashion trends and styles. However, it's definitely not complete. There are so many fashion trends and styles going on at the moment. It was really hard to narrow down and figure out, you know, what's really trending at the moment. There's just so much stuff being pushed from, you know, fast fashion, from designers and everywhere that it's overwhelming. The best place that I found to actually wrap up what's trending is Crossroads Trading, which is a consignment store focusing on, you know, trendy things that are just secondhand. So I'm going to read it off and I'll also try to attach a picture so that way, you know, you can kind of go along with it and then I'll show y'all what all I picked up that will be for sale on Poshmark that's also very trendy. So to start, there's Homestead Chic, which is very 70s boho, think like reformation, anthropology, just some of my favorite styles. Then Be A Good Sport, which is very, you know, preppy, chic, kind of like knitwear, um, tracksuit, stuff like that. And then Underground Edge, which is kind of that punky goth that's trending. I also think that, you know, like the prep and the goth are actually very big at the moment, kind of combining the plaid and all that jazz. So sourcing this haul was super fun. I am just so excited to share with y'all. Let's get started. Let's kick it off with the homestead chic styles and what is more fitting than these true 1970s patchwork leather cowboy boots. These are so cool. These are the brand Larry Mahan if you're familiar with like western wear or anything like that and they are just in amazing condition. Whoever had these took good care of the leather and the soles. The only struggle I'm having with them is figuring out what size they are. I've of course stuck my foot into them and they're too big on myself. I would say about a size, size and a half too big. So maybe like a nine, nine and a half. I don't know. I'm struggling to read the line of letters and numbers as to what they mean. So I have to do a little bit more research to figure out the size, but so stinking cool ah! only my second time finding this brand and that is love shack fancy this is a gorgeous lace button front maxi dress very antique vintage inspired piece this is a size medium and it's actually still for sale on their website it's the flora style dress and it's selling for five hundred dollars this one right here is a size medium and it's in near perfect condition it is missing a button at the waistline my plan is to take a button from down below and move it up to the waistline i think that a button here is much more important than down there i just don't really want to change the buttons and mess up this beautiful aesthetic that is going on it's very prairie cottage core so unique i love it very similar prairie vibes with this dress. This is a true 90s cotton maxi dress. This is from the brand Erica & Co. I've come across it a few times when thrifting. And what really drew me to this piece were the little floral buttons. It's absolutely adorable. This dress is missing the size tag and I would size it at a medium or large. It is completely button front and it does have little adjustable ties in the back. I absolutely love the prairie style for fall. I have another piece from a brand I've only ever found one other time and that's Spell and the Gypsy. This is a gorgeous Spell robe with fringe down at the bottom on the sleeves and a really funky feature where the armpits are open. I think that's just to give the piece a little bit more volume when wearing it. The print on it is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see the horses in addition to all the flower print. And then there's gold thread that kind to catches the light it's so fun it also has a tie waist it's a size medium large and that's what the spell tag looks like such a stunning piece 
really perfect for fall with this colorway. I just love boho so much and I'm glad it's still in. A first time brand find right here. This is a brand known for their puff sleeve mini dresses. The brand is Selkie. This one is a size large. It has the cutest little lavender flowers all over it. This is what the Selkie tag looks like. Such a sweet piece. I feel like this print is also very vintage vibes. So really fun, really excited to have found this. This piece retails for $300. I don't have any experience selling Selkie, so I'm not quite sure how it will resell, but I think that it will do well. Another cutie floral mini dress. This one right here is a denim material with embroidered white flowers all over it absolutely amazing this piece is actually from the 90s but i feel like this floral print is a little bit 70s inspired it is missing the size tag but according to the measurements as well as the fit i would size it at around a 6 8 and it will be for sale on my poshmark along with this beautiful dress this is by anthropology this is a size 14 and it's a ruched slip dress I just think this is the most stunning piece and kind of similar to that spell robe. This color is just perfect for fall. This is kind of a maxi midi length. The hemline is uneven, which I think gives it very fun detailing. Just such a stunning piece. I've already listed it on my Poshmark and I think it has like 30 some likes. It's ridiculous. The last piece in this Western boho earthy pile is this fleece fringe jacket the fringe on it is actually made of fleece this is true 80s it has little front pockets it's just so funky i could not pass it up it's from a western brand it's a little bit out there compared to everything else that was in this pile so it doesn't really quite fit however i could not pass it up i am going to go ahead and list it on poshmark these had pretty good comparison pricing and with a piece like this if it doesn't sell on there i'll definitely take it to a buy sell trade store where i know they'll buy things that are a little bit extra loud and out there <music> All right, now we are on the Be A Good Sport style pile. And just a refresher on what all that includes is preppy. So I think updated suiting is, you know, like work trousers and funky blazers and then chunky knitwear. Well, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. And then they also mentioned tracksuits and streetwear. And I have my own interpretation of that, which I'm about to show you. So what is streetwear to me? It's very bold and oversized. And what is more of that than a kugi sweater? This is a lookalike kugi. It has all of the 3D print detailing, the cool colors and everything like that, but it is from a different brand. It's from North Wales and it's 100% cotton, so it's still very quality and very eye-catching and I think it fits all of that streetwear criteria. And then I know I mentioned track suits and I don't really have a track suit per se, but I do have a track jacket and this is a funky duck silk track jacket. It's a size women's small and it's just too weird to pass up. I feel like, again, streetwear is just very extra and this is very extra. So I'll likely list it on my Poshmark, but kind of similar to that Western fringe blazer. If nothing amounts to anything, then I'm definitely gonna be taking it into a buy, sell, trade store. Now I have one of my favorite vintage blazer brands. The brand is Larisse. They just make the coolest blazers. This has a leather collar and then contrasting houndstooth and plaid print. It's a wool blend. It's really quality. Just such a unique piece. It's a size large. Just hits so many style criteria obviously blazers and preppy is in but also houndstooth and plaid and leather so i love that it has a little bit of leather detailing just such a cool piece and another piece that hits multiple style criteria is this red leather blazer so again blazers and that preppy look are in and so is leather so such a cool piece a really good time to get it this one is a size large and in great condition then i have a few sweaters this first one is very 
bread and butter in my personal Poshmark closet. This is an American Eagle slouchy knit sweater. It's a size medium. It's just very basic, but it tends to be a pretty good seller, so I couldn't pass it up. Then I have this Madewell wool blend cardigan. I love the buttons on this piece. It's so cute. It's a size large and just in perfect condition. I think this is such a sweet piece for fall. Then the last piece I have is a little bit funkier. This is a new to me brand, the open product, but it retails for a lot of money. Like this sweater retailed for like almost $200. So this is a little collarless shrug cardigan kind of throwback to like the 2000s but it's a little bit more contemporary just a really cool piece it's a size small in perfect condition so to go along with those preppy tops i did get a few pairs of trousers this first pair i'm going to keep for myself they are a wide leg high-waisted black trouser by the brand open edit which is sold at nordstrom's they're super quality i'm really obsessed with them they're super comfortable they have pockets so i'm keeping those but to resell i also got these new with tags ralph lauren plaid trousers they are a wool blend they are super nice they retailed for 175 dollars they're a size 22 in women's just so cute and preppy would be fun styled a lot of different ways and then another pair of work trousers that are also new with tags are these torrid trousers they're a size 18 they retail for 60 dollars and are a classic black flare trouser i feel like these are also very y2k in a way i've seen a lot of people style them with like graphic tees and whatnot i think that that's very funky and fun okay so we are on to the last style pile which is the underground edge one now they describe this as rave wear punk baggy pants corsets platform in victorian inspired which is like corsets unfortunately i don't have any of those but i interpreted this one as a little bit more y2k um they do have brands like urban outfitters and other stuff listed there but since they also included rave wear and punk i personally interpreted as a little bit of like y2k because i think of that a little bit more down that line and not falling under those other umbrellas and that's definitely still very in all right so one of the first y2k pieces i want to show off is this super cute paisley pink fairy like asymmetrical dress it is from the brand my michelle which i remember buying from jc penny when i was in elementary school just such a cute piece i could not pass it up there are so many ways to style this dress too whether it's you know very classic with like some cute like doll like shoes or if it's a little bit more punk and dressed up with docks and like platforms just such a cool piece size medium but it fits like a small because it is junior sizing then a little y2k micro mini with sparkly flowers this is a size 3xl which is awesome because i'm going to add that to my poshmark closet i love trying to be more size inclusive and i know that it can be really hard to find y2k and vintage styles in plus sizing then i have this faux fur zip front sweater this is from the brand venus it is a little bit funkier but faux fur is definitely very in this season so i couldn't pass it up it's again one of those pieces that if i don't sell it on my own i will end up taking it to a buy sell trade store i feel like i have something like that in each pile the last piece in this style pile is a personal diy project for my own closet these 90s platform patchwork leather boots in my exact size now these babies do need some tlc so i've already ordered some suede cleaner and conditioner to jazz up the leather and then i also need to figure out some paint to jazz the soles up because there's definitely some discoloration there as well but i do think that all the time and effort that goes into them will be worth it because 
How freaking cool are these? That's a wrap on my thrift haul inspired by the fall 2022 fashion trends. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like this video as well as subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in purchasing anything seen, feel free to head over to my Poshmark closet, which will be linked down below. If you struggle to find anything there, reach out to me on Instagram at Carried by Natalie and follow along there as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope to see you back here soon. Bye!